welcome uh, in this video we will see how you can determine age by a simple wrist x-ray it is very important part of forensic medicine or forensic science so let's see uh, so what you can see in the wrist x-ray first at first you can see the lower end of ulna the lower end of ulna the lower end of radius yes. and the carpal bones mostly eight carpal bones these are the capitate, hamet, triquetral, lunate, scaphoid, trapezoium, and trapezoid, and also PC form. These are the eight carpal bone, and to some extent metacarpal bones. Especially the first metacarpal bone is important for the age determination. Okay, now here. You can see a chest uh, wrist x-ray. Okay, then wrist x-ray. You can find the bones. This large bone is capitate. Then the in the left side of it, it's hamate, or you can say in the lateral side because here is the first metacarpal bone and it is the lateral side and it is the medial side. Okay. So in to the medial side, uh, you can see the hamet. Then, and this large bone is the triquetral bone. It is the lunate. Okay. So it is the lunate, and it is it, the large bone is scaphoid. This bone is trapezium and this bone is trapezoid and here you can see a round bone above the uh, triquetral it is the pc form bone okay so so again you can revise it is the it is the lateral side it is the medial side okay the largest bone is the capitate then the wedge shaped bone is the hamate then the pyramid shaped bone is the triquetral the moon shaped bone is the lunate the boat shaped bone is the scaphoid the quadrilateral shaped bone is the trapezium and the shoe shaped shoe shaped bone is the trapezoid okay and a p shaped or p like bone is the pc form so now we will see the what is the importance of these carpal bones and the lower end of the radius and ulna okay so the the appearance of carpal bone is vary okay the capitate bone which is the largest bone appears in the second month okay and it is the second month after birth not the not the intrauterine life okay so then hamate hamate forms hamate appears in the third month to one hour on one years okay then triquetral appears in the third year lunate appears in the fourth year scaphoid appears in the fifth, fifth year and trapezium and trapezoid appears in the fifth or fifth to sixth year and pc form appears in, in 9 to 12 years of age okay so by these appearance you will 
be able to determine the age of a child and the ossification center uh, in the main main ossification center in the wrist x-ray is the lower end of radius lower end of ulna and base of the first meta metacarpal bone so the lower end of radius appears in the second year and fusion occurs in the 18 to 19 years of age the lower end of ulna appears in the 5 years of age and fusion occurs in the 17 to 18 years of age and the base of the first metacarpal appears in the second year and fusion occurs in the 15 to 17 years of age so this is very important to determine the age of a child to seeing the reduced x-ray so what uh, you have to write that in the description you have to write that this is a x-ray of entero posterior view of wrist joint showing distal part of radius and ulna all carpal bones and metacarpal bones without any fracture and deformity is noted okay then you have to write the age can be determined from the ossification center of the following so this now you have see that how you can determine the age let's see this x-ray it is a x-ray of wrist joint okay and this is this bone is the lower end of ulna this bone is the lower end of radius and the these are the carpal bones so how many carpal bones you can find all eight carpal bones you can find at first the big capitate so number one is capitate then you can find the hamet the hamet second then you can find this bone is the triquetral third bone then you can find the lunate then the scaphoid then it is the trapezium and it is the trapezoid and here you can see the pc form bone it is the pc form bone okay sorry this is not the pc form it is the hook of hammer uh, hook of hammer this bone is the pc form bone so this bone is the pc form bone the number eight so all eight bones is already appear and the lower end of radius and ulna is also fused because there is no gap between uh, here the, there is no gap between here so it is you can see the chart now the all bones are appear all carpal bones are appearing so you can definitely see that it is the above 12 years because pc form is already formed okay or better you can say that it is above 9 years because someone's uh, carpal bone may appears in the 10 years so you cannot say that it is 12 plus okay maybe 10 plus so you have to mention the lower limit so by this carpal bones you can say this child is 9 plus age okay so 9 plus but you have to see the lower end of radius and ulna okay so lower end of radius appears in the second year and lower end of ulna appears in the fifth year so already appearing and fusion also occurs so fusion occurs in the 18 to 19 years and the lower end of ulna fusion occurs in the 17 to 18 years okay 
so already fusion is done fusion is done of lower end of radius and lower end of ulna okay so it is 9 plus is obvious but also you can say that it is also 70 years plus age because the lower end of ulna is already fused but also you can say it is 18 plus you have to goes perfect okay so 17 plus also occurs but you have say that it is 18 plus because in the 17 years of age may fuse the lower end of ulna but it must be 18 plus to have the fusion of the lower end of radius so the ultimate age of this child is 18 plus okay you have to write that all the eight carpal bones are present and the lower end of radius and anla is also fused so the estimate age of this child is 18 plus now the second x-ray let's see the x-ray very carefully this all eight bones are present okay see the very carefully the all eight car uh, carpal bones are present this is number one capitate this is number two hamet this is number three triquetral this is number 4, lunate. This is number 5, scaphoid. This is number 6, trapezium. This is number 7, trapezoid. And this is number 8, PC form. So all carpal bones has already appeared. Okay. So you can say that it is obviously above 9 years of age, above 9 years. Let's see. So it is above 9 years. We can find by the seeing carpal bones. Then you will see that it is the ulna, lower end of ulna. It is the lower end of radius. Okay. So the lower end of ulna is appeared, has appeared, but not fused but not fused because there is a gap so lower end of ulna and here also the in the radius form so the lower end of ulna and radius has already appeared but not fused so as the appearance of lower end of radius and ulna you can say it is 12 years or 12 years plus and better you can say 5 years plus okay but fusion is not occurring okay so if the fusion is not occurring yet so you can say by the lower end of radius that it is below 90 years why here uh, you tell the upper limit because if anyone's age uh, is 18.5 okay so in the 18.5 may not uh, this fusion occurs its uh, upper limit is 19 plus so in the 18.5 years it may be fused or not fused okay so here we always say the upper limit so maybe 19 plus but if the 19 plus he is so it must be lower end of ulna is already fused but here you can see the lower end of ally is not fused. So better you can say that it is 18 plus. So ultimately what is the best? You can write that it is the 19 plus and it is below 18. Okay. So it is below 18. So the approximate age of this child is 90 to 18 years. Okay.
so this is how you can determine the age okay so this child's age is between 9 to 18 years let's say another x-ray in this x-ray count the carpal bones okay one two three four five six and seven okay so seven means the trapezoid the bones appears up to trapezoid okay and pc form is not formed not appears so here you can say that it is below 12 years why not below 9 years because someone's age may be 11 so pc form may form or not form but the 12 years is the ultimate age pc form must formed okay so it is obvious that the age of the child is below 12 years okay so below 12 years because pc form is not formed yet now you can see that the lower end of ulna is appearing so appears is above 12 and 2 years of course and the lower end of radius is also appears so it is 5 years plus it is obvious that it is uh, he is 5 years plus okay but fusion not occurs so you can say that he is or her age is below 17 but why you say because you have the upper limit here okay the 12 years so it is obvious that he is not 17 or 18 so 12 years and the lower end of ulna is already appear and base of first metacarpal first of metacarpal is appear but not fused so it is obvious below 15 year and above 2 years so what is the most perfect age so it is the 5 year plus because the lower end of ulna has appeared so it is he is he or she is 5 year plus and the upper limit is 12 years so 12 his age is is 5 to 12 years okay so this is how we can determine the age of a child by the x-ray of wrist and it is very important for the forensic science or accused who claim that he is not a minor okay or he is a minor so you do the x-ray and you can say he is minor or not he or she is minor or not thank you